How to buy rental real estate using credit cards and other creative financing. That's today's show. Let's dive into it. Hey everyone, I'm Clayton Morris, longtime real estate investor, and I'm super excited about today's show. We have a really creative way in order to buy rental real estate. One of the first hurdles that people have when they get into real estate, either they don't know people, they don't know where to start, or they don't have any funding. They don't have any money in order to go out and purchase their first rental property. So they start spinning their wheels, they think about bank loans, they think about using their 401k. All of those can be great ways to do it, but a really creative way to buy real estate is using credit cards. Yes, you heard me right, credit cards. So my guest today is gonna to walk us through this entire process. And by the way, we've built a website, we've built a landing page at morrisinvest.com slash funding. We'll put it right up here on the screen. We'll also have links right below the show so you can click on it and it's gonna save you money when you sign up. We'll get into that in just a moment. But when you walk through this entire process, you're gonna be blown away at just how easy it is to use credit cards in order to pull money out of those business credit cards and then to purchase rental real estate. We've done it. We've had hundreds of clients that have actually done it as well and we're gonna dive into it. My guest today is Mike Banks. He is the Chief Operations Officer for Fund and & Grow and he's gonna be here right now to tell us how it all works. Mike, great to see you. Great to see you too, Clayton. Thanks for having me today. Absolutely. And it's, uh, you know, it's always great to have you, uh, you and I talk on a regular basis because you, you guys are always doing some amazing things where you're adding all, all kinds of different functionality to make it even easier for people to dive in and use credit cards to purchase real estate. So why don't we just go from a high level? Why would someone and we, we, we actually started working together a few years ago because you came to me and said, hey, we've got a great way that I think people from Morris Investor who want to get started with real estate and they don't have the money could actually get funding, maybe $50,000, $70,000, $80,000, $100,000 from a business credit card in order to purchase real estate. And I said, that's brilliant. How is that even possible? And you walk us through that process. So just at a high level, how is that even possible? Well, it's really straightforward and easy. We, we do all the work for our clients and we set up the business credit accounts for you. Um, but basically, we set the account up, we go through the process of communicating with the underwriter. And then once that account is approved and in your hands, you're then able to uh, follow a couple different processes depending on exactly how you want to use it to either get the cash off of those accounts or you can send a check directly to a vendor, it could be to a contractor if you're looking to pay for a rehab, but it also could be to a title company or an, a closing attorney, or even potentially Morris Invest if you're looking to purchase a property, a uh, turnkey rental with, with you, with Clayton. All right, so to be super clear so people aren't confused at all, um, again, we on our website, and in order to, first of all, go through this process to sign up, um, costs a little bit of money. If you come through our website, we've we've partnered with uh, with you guys so that folks will save five hundred dollars just by going through our website, which is great. You'll pay an additional mm -hmm. five hundred if you don't use our website. So and we have the link again here. It's just morrisinvest.com slash funding. It's right there on our page. You fill out like a little just a like a few questions and then you'll get on the phone with you guys and you guys will walk them through how this process works. Then you guys will walk through the process of setting up the credit cards. And this is what I was blown away by because people were coming to me saying, okay, that sounds great. Now do I have to go up and set up business LLCs to get these cards? Do I have to do all of this legwork? And you guys take care of all of that, right? Yeah, exactly. So if you're a new investor, and you don't have an LLC or a tax ID set up yet, you do need the tax ID in order to get approved for business credit so that you can keep it off of your personal report. So having that tax ID, that allows you to keep the, these business credit accounts off your personal report, which is really a big deal. If you're carrying $50,000 in debt, you don't want that business debt to show on your personal report. So we set up a tax ID for you. That's all included in the program. Now on our website, you'll see in the little drop down menu, like what is your credit score? So what kind of a credit score do you have to be working with uh, to in order to go through this program? Does that really matter because you're setting up business credit cards? I mean, but ultimately you are the person, so they're going to look at you and your personal credit score, right? Yeah, exactly. It, it Even though it's a business credit card, the lender still does want to take a look at your personal credit report. So ideally your scores need to be a, a 680 and, and up to, to at least get approved. But for the larger amounts on the business credit side, you 
you do need to have about a 720 credit score and above um, to get approved within 30 days. And within 30 days, on average, folks get around $50,000. We have some clients that have gotten 120, 150,000 in the first 30 days. And then some folks, you know, a little bit less than the 50. But on average, we're usually seeing right right there around 50, between 40 to 80,000. And it varies based on your credit history. That's the most uh, important factor. Um, it's not really so much about what your business is making. It's more about your credit. It's credit based. And now what's great about that is that most of the properties, like, for instance, that we do at our company is and I think that's even when we you and I first started talking a few years ago because you knew the average price of the properties that we that we do uh, Morris invest they're going to be like 50 60 you know in that range thousand and so if someone mm -hmm. is able to get funding that basically covers their first rental property but now I can hear all of the people thinking okay I, that's great I've got I've got sixty thousand dollars from you guys right using these business credit cards now I've got sixty thousand dollars that I have on these business credit lines what am I going to do now right and that's where mm -hmm. we've been working with folks because we're trying to make sure that they're buying one of those properties that's going to appraise, right? That's going to be able to pull money back out, that they're going to be able to refinance. Um, so a really smart B-class property that has maybe the, some of the appreciation in the neighborhood, but that the banks are going to like. So then you would go into more of a 30-year loan after that, right? Is that kind of the process that, that, makes, that makes the most sense? Yeah, absolutely. So you, you get the cash, cash is king, you can buy distressed properties. And then once you rehab that property and put a tenant in it, ideally you're gonna to wanna to refi and then repeat the process. So refi out into a longer term, maybe investment mortgage, and uh, and then repeat the process. We actually just had a client do this and bought a duplex and he's already in process of refinancing and repeating the process on the next property. Right. So yeah, that's definitely what we want to do. Yeah, and that's exactly right. Like now, my wife and I, we signed up for the program, and it, I was blown away. I mean, this is a firsthand testimonial on how easy it was to work with you guys. So go through the process. We had our initial sort of phone call. We walked through the process, and within a, I think like two weeks or so, we already had a bunch of different business credit cards sort of showing up at the house, each for different rates. Total, I think we got about one hundred and seventy thousand dollars because now both my wife and I did it jointly. So is there a benefit in doing it jointly versus just doing it by yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Just like you and, and Natalie, you guys ended up getting a lot more mm -hmm. because of the, the fact that you teamed up. So we can apply for both parties. If it's a spouse, if it's a family member, it doesn't have to be a spouse. It could be, you know, a mother, it could be even your, your adult child, it could be a business partner. And that allows us to get double the amount of funding within you know the sh a shorter period of time so yeah definitely uh, if you have a spouse or a partner you could definitely bring them in and through clayton's link there's no additional charge for that now if you were to go to our to if you were to go to our website directly or call us directly then there would be an additional charge to bring on a spouse or a business partner normally that would be uh you know double the amount of money but with clayton's link you get a 500 hundred dollar discount and you uh, you save that additional service fee for the second number. Great. So now some of the changes you were excited. To, you called me last week. You said, Clayton, we've got some really exciting changes now that make it even easier to access funding. So I know you mentioned it a little bit at the beginning, but let's get a little bit more detail about that process. Can you walk through some of that and some of the changes you guys have now made? Yeah, absolutely. So we we now have a new partner that allows our clients to essentially charge their credit card and send a check any vendor and this can be a home equity line of credit if you have a, a heloc you can charge your credit card send a check to your heloc to pay towards it and then you can draw directly from the heloc that's one way to use this vendor and the name of this vendor by the way is plastic p-l-a-s-t-i-q.com and another way you can do this is you can charge your credit card and then have a check sent to any vendor. So any contractor, it could be a, uh, a contractor or it can be a closing attorney. We've had clients that have been using this for a couple of years now and they're charging their card and they're sending money from their credit cards to their closing attorney so that they could put that money into escrow for a uh, purchase of a property. So that's, that's another way that you can do this. Um, with great. without paying a cash advance fee, because this is that's what we're doing here. We're getting zero interest business accounts, business credit lines, essentially, and we need to avoid the cash advance. You can't just you know go to the ATM and 
full cash off, there is a little bit of a process, but it's well worth it. When you compare it to the fees that you end up paying with other sources of funding, you're paying less with this. If you do the math on $100,000, you include our service fee, as well as the, the fees that it costs you to charge the card and send out a check, like with plastic, it's 2.5%. If you do the math, it's like half of what you pay with a hard money loan. It right. just takes a couple steps. Right, and you might not even get approval with a hard money loan, right? And that's probably yeah. why you're turning to these creative force, uh, you know, sources of financing. I have to say what's exciting about it, I even forgot to mention this right off the top, but yeah, it's 0% interest. So you're getting these, a lot of these cards have a 0% interest for what, six, even uh, even 12 months, right? Or even 18 months in some situations. So these business cards that you're getting when you're purchasing that rental property using this funding, it's 0%. And then you have that amount of time then to refi out into another form or a longer, you know, a 30 year fixed loan or a 15 year loan. Um, so you're not sitting on all of this interest with a hard money loan. You're like a 12% interest and you're paying like three points sometimes. Exactly. And when you do the math on that, that comes out to like $15,000 after 12 months. Wow. And, but with us, it's, it's more, it's closer to like 6,000. If you do the math on a hundred thousand, you include the two to 4% fee to cash out or to send the check. Um, right. you, you basically, it's half. So, you know, it's a great tool to have in your arsenal if you're an investor, if you're new, if you're seasoned, either way, you know, you can use it for contractors, you can use it for rehabs, but you can also literally purchase properties with it. Now, we've can got you roll this? Things. Yeah, you can buy properties. We always say creatively and here on the channel, and we've talked about in, in a number of podcast episodes here, there's no one way to do this, right? So I've used my 401k to buy real estate. I've borrowed from my 401k, not cashed it out. I've used Fund and Grow. We got, like I said, one hundred and seventy thousand dollars for funding with Fund and Grow. Uh, we've we've purchased using an IRA. We had cash on hand. We've gotten private money loans. So we've done all manner of of creative financing, and you can too. And this can be just one arrow in your quiver uh, in order to expand your portfolio of rental properties. Um, one thing, I guess, I want to know more about the credit cards themselves and the, the, the business credit cards that you're using. We got a bunch of different ones. I think we had like Chase, I'm not even sure. We just had, we had a bunch of different ones arrive and you told us, let us know, or your company told us, hey, let us know when those arrive and we will then negotiate higher values or higher amounts on your behalf. So that's why you're working with a company like yours is that you guys actually get on the phone and then do some of the legwork to increase the amounts. So tell us about that and why we would work with you as opposed to trying to do this ourselves. Yeah, that's really a huge benefit to working with us. When you apply on your own or even when we apply initially, a lot of times it's not an automatic approval of $50,000. A lot of times it's a small approval, like 2000 Sometimes in some cases, it's not even approved at all. You start out with a denial. And a lot of people who apply for a loan or a credit card, they don't know that they can negotiate. And so that's, that's what we call it, negotiate the application. But essentially, we have contacts at each bank that we work with, who we've been communicating with for 10 years now. And we get on the phone, we review the application. We make a human being review it because initially, it's systematically, it can be denied systematically based on something like having too many accounts that are new. There's a bunch of different code modules that'll pop up on your credit report when you apply. And in some cases, even if you have a 750 or 800 score, these minor things can cause your application to be denied or approved at a small amount. So when we call in and speak with our contact, we're able to have that reviewed. And nine times out of 10, we're able to increase it most most of the time double the amount so if it's like uh, initially approved at 5000 we're able to get it bumped up to 10 20000 many cases we've got clients getting $50000 with one account with one bank um, so that is a huge part of our process that's why we're able to bring in 9 million dollars of funding new funding every month and and that's you know a huge part of what we're doing here we actually incentivize our team many of which are ex-bankers they used to work at chase bank bank of america hmm. and these people are the ones that are speaking with the underwriters the decision makers at the bank on your behalf and they're the ones that are uh, incentivized to get you as much as possible with each bank and it's funny that we're talking about this because just the other day a friend of mine applied for a loan and he was denied initially an auto loan 
And I told him, call in and tell them to put it in review, speak to them about it, explain your situation. He had good credit. He was really denied for no reason. Puts it in review, they send him the loan paperwork, and he gets it approved within 45 minutes of, of making that phone call, where most people kind of just take that denial. Like, because right. sometimes it's, it's just a systematic thing, like the computer reviews it, not a human being. Once you get it in the hands of the right person, you'd be surprised how much more funding we're able to get. Like our clients start, in many cases, they start with a small amount on the initial approval. We show this on the webinar as well. We go and we show the credit gain view. And the first column is the auto approval column and mostly all zeros. Mm -hmm. And then we follow up, follow up, follow up, and we get increases, you know, 20,000 here, 20,000 there. And that's why clients are able to get, you know, 50,000 plus in 30 days. And most people on their own, they just don't know, they don't know to do that. Now, with taking through that process with the business cards now, um, usually they're zero percent for what a year or or 18 months or six months i guess each card is different right but there's usually a pretty good window yeah it's usually an average of 12 months per offer every offer is different some are 15 months some are 18. we've got one offer that's 21 months hmm. but on average we're at about 12 months because some of them do come in at nine months six months but the thing is we work with our clients for 12 months you know, there's other firms out there that don't do that. They just do one round of funding and they charge you an arm and a leg. We don't do that. We work with you for 12 months. And so you might get your first batch of funding in the first month, right? You might get 50,000, 80,000 in the first month. Right. And now you're on average, you're at about 12 months of zero interest, right? But two to three months after that, we're going to do another round of funding. We're going to do another batch of applications as we call it. So we do that three to four times. We repeat that process three to four times over the 12 month period. And by doing that, you continue to get new zero interest offers on average, each one's 12 months. So towards the end of the membership, when we do your last round of funding, you're getting another 12 months of zero interest. So in many cases, what we'll do is we'll merge accounts right? or we'll roll the balance from one account that's now an interest bearing card. We'll roll that balance over to the new zero interest account. So when you do the math, you can keep your balances at zero interest for over the initial offer. So if the initial offer is only nine months or 12 months, by going through our program, you, you basically are extending the amount of time that you're carrying these balances at zero interest. That's what I was going to ask you. It seems like, could you continue, can you roll them to zero maybe in perpetuity? Or is this maybe just two years is kind of like the window, but that's still two years. That's plenty of time for you to even, yeah. even on a $50,000 house, you're paying it down. You're paying it down significantly using the rent from the tenant. And then you're not even going to have that. You're going to have equity. You're building up equity the entire time. And then you could roll that, that balance into these other cards or then into a 30 year fixed loan with a, with a bank. Right. Right. Exactly. And we have clients, many of your clients have signed up with us for multiple years. You know, some you might go through the program this year, next year, you might want to sign up again for another, uh, another 12 months. Some people will take a year off, come back to us, Two to three years in a row it just it depends on you know how much credit do you want you know this is something that we can do for a few years in a row but it's not something that we can necessarily just continue to do for 10 years in a row so that's why it's important for you to refi use the credit for a couple of years and then down the road come back and we can get you new accounts because in many cases we can go back to the same bank and get a new offer and of even the same card and then just close the old account and, and start a new account with zero interest. This is so exciting. No, I, I get excited about this because this creative way of pulling money, someone's going to stumble across this podcast and someone's going to stumble across this video and they're going to say, oh my gosh, this is the answer I've been looking for. And I can say it going through it myself. And like you said, we've had so many clients go through it. I think we've now, how many, how much money you told me the other day for uh, Morris Invest clients, was it over 20 million or am I wrong on that number that, that you've raised so it's far? Over 20 million now. Over it's 20 probably... million dollars has been used by, <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. It's probably over 25 now because we're, we do, uh, Clayton sends a lot of clients. We've done hundreds of clients over the last couple of years. So, you know, we're steadily growing that number. And that was the last time I looked was about a month ago and it was 20, it was over 20 million. So, wow. you know, that's huge. like, that's a lot of funding. We've had tons of clients from Clayton come through our program and, you know, they want to, they want to get into real estate. They want to build passive income. 
and many of them don't understand how hard money works and it's it's really a process you don't always get approved for a hard money loan and even if you do it costs a lot of money but this pro this process is perfect to, to buy a turnkey rental i mean i've personally yeah. used this funding in my real estate business as well for uh, wholesaling properties and covering costs on rehabs purchasing properties outright yeah it's a win for any you know any uh realm of real estate investing well, and, you know, it's something that Natalie and I are really passionate about talking about here on this show, trading interest for interest. I mean, heck, we wrote a whole book around this topic on how to pay off your mortgage in five years. And, you know, by using a home equity line of credit, by using that money in order to pay off higher interest, right? So here you have a situation with Mike and his team where you're getting 0%. You might not even use it to buy a rental property. Who cares? but you might have other high interest stuff. Maybe you've got 18% credit card of like $5,000 on, on an 18% uh, you know, interest credit card. Wouldn't, why wouldn't you use this at 0% to pay off that higher debt? Or maybe you have a car loan, which is just crushing you right now. Or you have a student loan debt that's still lingering out there that you could actually use 0% in order to get this maybe off your books over the next uh, a few months and take care of it for you. So a number of different ways to use this right yeah absolutely you know if you're even if you're in, let's say in wholesaling real estate you can use it to cover your direct mail campaign right. every month a lot of people spend five ten thousand dollars on direct mail um and then there's some people who are only spending a thousand or two thousand and they're getting limited results but if you, if you have this type of funding available you can use it for anything it's not just for you know, it's not just a hard money loan for property. It can be used for anything at all in your business. And something we haven't really talked about, which is a pretty good little perk, you get uh, rewards points, right? You're building rewards points. I just cashed out $1,500 on one of my accounts because it's a cashback account. And that's something that you just you wouldn't be getting um, with any other type of funding. Now, oh, brilliant. You so you could take personal, trips. I mean, we use our, we use our, uh, our, our business cards and basically our whole, any vacation we take is paid for uh, because of the rewards yeah. points. Right, exactly. And you, you get that with some personal cards, but the difference between these accounts, we've talked a little bit about it, but with business accounts, business credit, it does not show up on your personal report. Yes, the lender does take a look at your personal report to evaluate whether you're you know, gonna be a, a good borrower or not, but that kind of goes with any type of a loan. You know, with right. a hard money loan, you have to get the deal approved. And if you haven't done any deals before, if you're brand new and you've never, if you don't have any experience under your belt, it's hard to find a lender that will lend to you in that scenario. And so, you know, having this type of funding off your personal report is huge. Your, your scores stay sky high. If you have 750s, you know, some people are continuing to put debt on their personal cards because they're using it for business, for marketing, for, you know, travel, for rehab. Your scores are going up and down and that affects you unless you're able to pay it off every month in full and not everyone's able to do that. So by keeping it on your business profile, it's, it's really going to help you overall with your personal credit and with future loans as well. Well, perfect. Well, is there anything we missed, Mike? I think we covered a lot of ground, gave people a really strong overview. Is there anything about your program that we missed that you, you'd be kicking yourself later if we didn't mention it? Um, well, I know... Um, you know, we're going to be doing a webinar coming up. And if you guys go to the link that we talked about, mm -hmm. you can get access to that webinar. Uh, there's also a video there and you can also pre-qualify just by going to that link. I think we brought it up earlier. Yeah. Uh, I believe it's morrisinvest.com forward slash funding. It's a simple form. You fill it out and we can uh, pre-qualify you and we'll give you a call. And then you also get access to our video and also to the webinar where we go into more depth on everything involved with the program you know how to how to use the the cards as cash um, and also we talk about the two different ways that you can work with us because there are two different ways you could either do a 12-month membership mm -hmm. which is either upfront payment or payment plans where you get a 500 hundred dollar discount or you can do a another option which is performance based which means you don't put any money down up front you simply sign up with us you do need to have a 730 score or better and you don't put any money down up front. And then we can set up these credit accounts for you. And you simply pay a percentage as a service fee to us after you have the accounts in your hand. So those are the two options, 12 months, upfront payment plans or performance-based 
and no upfront fee. Awesome. And again, you'll save 500 bucks on any of that if you uh, go to our website and the link is right there. It's in the show notes here in the page. It's morrisinvest.com slash funding. morrisinvest.com slash funding is the page. It's right there on the front page and you can click on it and fill out the little form and set up a call. Awesome stuff, Mike. Thank you so much and looking forward to continued success and being able to help a lot of people get their first rental property. Thanks so much for walking through some of the new details that you guys have just rolled out. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me today. You bet. Thanks, Mike. And I want to thank all of you for joining us on the show today. Thank you so much. We publish this show multiple times a week. We try to give you the tools and resources to go out there and become a real estate investor, create financial intelligence for you and your family, whether it's paying off high interest credit cards in order to make your life a little bit better um, or buy rental real estate. That's the path that we have used or just figuring out your balance sheet. It's all right here on the channel. We have so many uh, tips and tricks and strategies for you to become financially intelligent and your neighbors are going to wonder what in the heck are you? What is that family doing? They have suddenly elevated their uh, their living conditions. What is happening with that family? That's our goal uh, with the Investing in Real Estate show. We'll see you next time, everyone. Thank you so much for subscribing and go out there, take action, become a real estate investor. I think it's the number one way to build wealth. We'll see you, everyone.